Well, 4th of July weekend is officially upon us. It's a great time for people who love America, fireworks, and barbecues. That's most of us, isn't it? As we were choosing the stories for the show this week, it occurred to me that America is like a big fireworks store. Some are M80s. They're big, loud, and dangerous, but must be handled with care. Like when the leader of the free world gets confused by the biggest story of the year. To what extent has Vladimir Putin been weakened by recent events? It's hard to tell, but he's clearly losing the war in Iraq. Sorry, Mr. President, the war is in Ukraine. Some stories are like cherry bombs. They're not as dangerous, but if you're not paying attention, they can sneak up on you. Like this fisherman and this gator. <laughs> and some are Roman candles. They get your attention, but they don't pack a lot of power, and then they fizzle out. Like this Rhode Island Democrat who keyed a guy's car because he claimed the man was threatening him. You know what the threat was? He had a Biden sucks bumper sticker. He was blocking my way, saying I scratched his car. I didn't scratch his car. I'm a state senator. I think he recognized me. I think he's one of the gun nuts. What's the reason to key the car, though? That's yeah. the question. Because he was daring me to face it. And some stories are sparklers. They're nice, and you can watch them with your kids. Like the heartwarming story of Vanilla the Chimp, who spent his whole life in a cage and then saw the sky for the very first time. <laughs> Look at that face. That is a story that makes me want to say, God bless America. And that brings me to a nagging question. If you haven't noticed, there's a massive divide in our country. It's all anybody talks about. We're at each other's throats. And my question as we approach the 4th of July holiday is, can we all just get along? And how many among us still believe in the greatness of America? You know, when I was in college, my roommate used to attend something every year on the Boston Common called the anti-4th of July celebration, in which they would quote unquote celebrate all the terrible things America's done, like stealing Native American land, oppressing the poor, slavery. You might have had a communist roommate yourself in college too, but at the time, it seemed like people like this were in such a small minority, nobody really took them seriously. Well, my roommate, he was really ahead of his time. Now there are millions of people who believe in all that anti-American stuff. And those people went on to create groups like Antifa, Black Lives Matter, essentially just generic left-wing groups that latch on to the current cultural issue of the day to amplify their cause. I remember my eighth grade American government teacher talking about the difference between the left and right in America. He said, liberals want to change the country. The economy that grows the economy from the middle out, the bottom up, instead of just the top down. This vision is a fundamental break from the economic theory that has failed America's middle class for decades now. You know, our existing democratic institutions are creaky, and we, we're going to have to reform them. Then my teacher said, conservatives, they want to keep it the way it is. They will complete their takeover of this country and destroy your way of life, and it'll be destroyed forever. You're never going to be able to come back. This country is so far down right now. We're really, truly a failing nation. You see, both sides are so sure they're the ones who love America the most. So how are we going to come together as Americans? I mean, we're fighting over whether pizza should be legal. I'm serious. New York City may outlaw wood and coal-fired pizza ovens, and people are ticked. Give us pizza or give us death. Give us pizza or give us death. I love that guy. This is just like the Boston Tea Party. People fed up with tyrants telling them what to do. 
This should be a sparkler story. Instead, it's a cherry bomb because everybody's losing their minds. And 4th of July weekend is the perfect time for all of us to come to our senses. You see, I don't agree with my eighth grade teacher. I'm conservative, but I don't want to keep everything the way it is. This country is a work in progress. It was designed that way. In fact, it's all there in the first line of the Constitution. We, the people of the United States, in order to form a more perfect union. The founders knew they weren't perfect from the start. They wanted to create the perfect architecture on which to build a great nation. But that doesn't satisfy today's progressives. The founders gave us separation of powers, executive, legislative, judicial. But that doesn't sit well with people like Nancy Pelosi, who want to completely alter the way the Supreme Court works. There certainly should be term limits. There certainly be term limits. And if nothing else, there should be some ethical rules that would be followed. Now, I know most liberals don't hate America, but some of the leaders of the progressive movement do. If you read books like The 1619 Project and The People's History of the United States, they believe the very foundation of this country is flawed. Are you arguing that the Constitution needs to be scrapped altogether? <laughs> sure. If we could throw that out and, and start over with a new document that was more inclusive of everybody. If we acknowledge this history, um, then we have to try to make repair. All American workers of all races, uh, in many ways, are hurt by a system that was, that was founded through um, the most extraordinary exploitation of labor. They want to replace the foundation while the building's still standing. Is that even possible? You know what happens when you try to do that? The building collapses. At which point, the progressive will just say, oh, well, we'll just have to rebuild the whole thing from scratch. Look, Americans can come together. But the extremes we hear about, they're really caricatures. America, love it or leave it. I don't know many conservatives who actually say that. And America wrong from the start? Well, obviously, some people believe that. But I think it's a minority. I hope it is. In the meantime, it's a holiday weekend. Let's remember what makes this country so great. Cracking beers, eating hot dogs, and lighting off fireworks. But maybe don't let this happen. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News' YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.